Hey guys, Meister Jig Dave here in part two of my um tutorial on how to um download and install Debian. Um my first video I showed you um which softwares you needed um and where to get the ISO and I showed you um how to burn Debian to a disk for those of y'all who didn't know. So um what you wanna do is um restart your computer and um boot it up um and when you boot it up the debian um installer will come up so i uh, since i'm not going to restart my computer for demonstration purposes i'm going to open this in a virtual box or virtual machine i already made the debian's um virtual machine so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna remove it and make another one. And I'm gonna do a Debian one, obviously. 64 bit, because that's the one that I downloaded. I'm just gonna keep it like that. Alright, so I have created it. Uh, so let me just start it up. Alright, so now Debian will be booting up. Alright, there it goes. Do the graphical install because, um, that's like the much easier one. If you do just a plain old install, it's text only. So it will be... It's pretty much similar, but like once you boot in, it all will be is a command prompt. So that's why I'm gonna do graphical install. Alright, hit OK if you're running this in a virtual machine. So, okay, now. Hit continue because that's my language. I live in the United States. No one on Zimbabwe. American English keyboard. Now I'll mount the CD ROM. And you get all the components. Alright, now it's going to check my network hardware. Now that that's done, now I'll configure my network. My host name, um, I'll name it My Studio Dev Debian Virtual Machine. My domain name is, yeah, that. Root password. This is like for if you're like logging in as a root in the command prompt, you can do this once they're into Debian by typing su and terminal. So, which gives you um, administrative features to like anything. Like you can configure pretty much anything when you're in root mode. Full name for the new user. Whoops. Alright. Once you have made a password, hit continue. Yes, I'm Eastern Time. Now, it will ask you to partition your disks. I'm going to use my entire virtual disk, but you can do manual if you want. I'll just show you that. Um, you can do guided partitioning, but I'm gonna go ahead and go on to that, but you can do whatever you want. Uh, like, this is the guided partition, but it can get a little iffy to, um, partition your disk, 
So I recommend partitioning it beforehand using a software called Gparted if you're on Linux and doing it directly on Windows. Um, but I'll make a video for that um, later. So let's go ahead with the guided partitioning. Like if you're doing manual, I'll show all the partitions that you made and you'll just want to click on the one that you want to um, install Debian on. So I'm going to just use the entire virtual box just because it's only 8 gigabytes. So yes that um all files in one partition go ahead and do that because then this just gets all confusing if for new users um yeah finish partitioning right changes to disk depending on your partition size they will take a either a really short time as for me because this is only eight gigabytes or a long time for those of you who are going to do this on 500 gigabytes for example or maybe even a terabyte like my desktop is so hit continue Right changes to disk, hit play yes once you are sure. Now it will be formatting it. It is the ext3 file system. Most um most Linux operating systems are either x2, x ext2, ext3, or ext4. So now it will be installing the base system. Alright, so once that's done, I'll be configuring the package manager. Um, all those other CDs in my first video, um, like, where the installation link was, all those other CDs were just for, um, extra, um, uh, like, extra packages. You can, do, um, I don't, you don't really need to do that, but that's why I'm gonna go ahead and skip this. Because um, Debian has its uh, a package manager which you can um, directly um, install stuff from. Uh, this is also mainly this is for like the repositories. You can just um, add them through the terminal in Debian. I'll give you a tutorial for that. So just hit continue. Yes, use a network mirror. Mhm, mm and. Yes, it is United United States, and then just go ahead and use Debian.org. Um, skip that. That doesn't really matter. It's only for like certain countries which have a secure internet network. Okay, but anyway, now it is configuring the package manager. Once that is done, it'll be okay. now. Once it is done, you wanna yes, uh, install Grub, Grub Bootloader, especially if you are, especially if you are dual booting with um two Linux sisters, and you wanna put Debian, like if you partition into it, G parted. So you wanna click yes, do that. And as you, never mind. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you that later. Now it is done. As you can hear, it just got done. So make sure you remove the installation media so that you boot into a new system rather than restarting the installation. So you want to click continue. Now it will restart your computer. And now click on that, hit enter, and it will boot in.
just wait. This um, this code always happens if you're new to Linux. All right, so there you are. You are in Debian. See, there it is. So you wanna log in and type in your password. You can also, if you want, you can do the system default. There is. This is a desktop. You can go in as GNOME or TWM. I think that's like a terminal prompt. Just log in as system default because that is GNOME. So click login. Now it will be loading up. There you go, guys. You have successfully installed Debian. As you can see right here, you have successfully installed Debian onto your computer.